Hello everyone, Joshua Myers here, and welcome back to my Star Wars Franchise Review Series. And today we're going to get a lot dark with Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back, from 1980. The new chapter in the continuing Star Wars saga, The Empire Strikes Back. Now, in our galaxy, The Empire Strikes Back. The Empire Strikes Back stars Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, Billy D. Williams, and is directed by Irvin Kirshner. The plot of The Empire Strikes Back is that after the destruction of the Death Star, Imperial forces continue to pursue the Rebels. After the Rebellion's defeat on the ice planet Hoth, Luke journeys to the planet Dagobah, to train with Jedi Master Yoda, who has lived in hiding since the fall of the Republic. In an attempt to convert Luke to the dark side, Darth Vader lures young Skywalker into a trap in the cloud city of Bespin. What are my positives with The Empire Strikes Back? Honestly, for me, everything, really. Uh, there's, like, it's something I can't really describe. Like, first of all, you know, when you talk about good sequels, this is one of the things people talk about. In fact, this is one of the very few movies that actually does better than the original, in my opinion. And I know a lot of other people's opinion, too. This is so much of a better movie than A New Hope. Now, that's not taking anything, that's not taking anything away from A New Hope. You know, A New Hope is still a good Star Wars movie and just a good movie in general. But this took everything that was good about the first one and improved upon it and expanded upon it in a actually really intelligent way. And this movie really does subvert expectations. And, you know, if you're going to have a sequel that subvert expectations, this is the way to do it. Seriously, like, take notes, Last Jedi. <laughs> like, seriously, I think The Last Jedi should have took notes from this movie. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, subverting expectations may, you know, backfire. But this one... This movie did not back, like, it did not backfire with this movie. And they introduced characters that are, you know, as classic as the characters from the original movie. Like, uh, you're introduced to Yoda. Yoda? You think Yoda? <laughs> you know, like, that's just classic stuff. And, you know, the puppetry on Yoda, because, yeah, Yoda's a puppet. Although, he does look a little bit Muppet-like, you know... Like, with the puppetry and that. It's still really good practical effects. In fact, the practical effects are really good in this, too. Also, another character they brought in that's become iconic is uh, Billy Dee Williams as Lando Calrissian. In fact, they're, like, he's become so much of a popular character to where people were like, when the sequel trilogy started, they were like, uh, so where's Lando Calrissian? You know, like, people were wondering about Lando. Oh, and also Boba Fett? Sure, he doesn't do much or say much, but he became iconic just for this film alone, actually. Not only that, I do like the fact that this takes a darker route than the first one. And I think it does a really good job with that. Like, seriously, there's some moments where they show Darth Vader and that, that honestly, it's kind of like something out of a horror movie. Also, the music by John Williams is fantastic in this, actually. Definitely probably the man's best work in this franchise. I mean, you got tracks like the Imperial March, like da 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 da. I mean, that shit's iconic. Also, again, the effects in this movie is so good. Like, this film probably has the best effects in any of these movies, in my personal opinion, and it still holds up to this day. Also, the pacing of this film is really good too. It's about it clocks in at this film clocks in. At, this film clocks in at 2 hours and 7 minutes and it does not feel like that. In fact, I would dare say the pacing in this film is a lot better than the pacing of the first movie. Also, I like the, the fact we get to see even more worlds in this movie. Like, from Dagobah to, you know, Cloud City. You know, just all that stuff. And just visually, it's really visually interesting in that. And, again, story-wise is really good. Just, there's so much good stuff about this that honestly I don't have any problems with it at all. 
So, in fact, honestly, I'm going to skip negatives because, honestly, there are no negatives with this movie for me. So, with that said, I'm going to give Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back a 5 out of 5 stars. Honestly, to me, this is the best in the series, in my personal opinion. At least so far, I still need to watch Return of the Jedi, uh, Force Awakens, and The Last Jedi. But to me, so far from my memory, you know, I feel like they've never been able to achieve something like this before or since sent or since then as far as you know making a movie of this you know great stature and that so, so that's it for this review thank you guys for watching and may the force be with you always